along with Max Pappas, who's a former winner of the Rolex 24, and relative newcomer, Enrique Cisneros. I have to read that. I'm terrible with names. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> um, what we're doing here is, we're doing it, this is a, uh, a MOMO moment. Enrique is with the new MOMO team, and Max Pappas was with the old MOMO team. Now, he's, we're not calling Max old, but he was in the, you were in the winning car. No. No. I was not, but I was here in 1996, uh, 97, both Daytona, Le Mans, for the Piero. Mm -hmm. So. And that was, you might want to introduce your side. The guy behind there is my son, if you guys haven't noticed that. <laughs> Th third, third generation. Third, third generation. <laughs> third generation. Third generation. The next generation of mom. retired. Yes. Yeah. So, so anyway, the, the history here is pretty phenomenal. That this company has been represented in this race for so long. So can you talk to, as a veteran here, a veteran Momo man, can you just, just speak to the history of Absolutely. Momo? Absolutely. You know, like when I came here in America in 1996, the Momo Ferrari was, uh, you know, very, very well recognized. Gian Piero created a lot of history for Momo and the racing in, in itself. And, uh, you know, he was, I was just a guy, I was exactly like he is today. People did, had to write down my name because they didn't know who I was. <laughs> and uh, thanks to that day of 1996, you know, when I basically, you know, we, we went from three laps down to almost win the race. Right. I wrote the name, my name in the history books of that 24 hour. And uh, that day, specific day with the Momo Ferrari, it really changed my life and my career. It's uh, great memories. Well, we have to give your nickname. He got the nickname Mad Max that day because he, he basically lapped the field three times before the checkered flag. He wasn't that difficult with uh, such a special car, you know, but obviously, you know, sometimes in life, you know, you've got to be at the right time, at the right moment, you know, and take the opportunity. And uh, I really felt that uh, that day was my day, you know, to get back satisfaction that I didn't have when I was back in Formula One. And, uh, you know, to carry the Momo name uh, and through the years, uh, uh, you know, we develop business where we actually now represent and sell all the Momo steering wheel for the NASCAR teams with me and my wife back in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we continued, uh, you know, to the love for the sport, the love for Giampiero, and uh, you know, I'm sure the things goes back into the into the Porsche GT that. Uh, you know, Enrique is driving today. Well, let's talk about that because uh, basically you're passing the torch. The Momo torch is now in Enrique's hands. Can you talk about um, having that name associated with your team now? I, I think it's an honor for anyone to, to have Momo on, on, on their car. I think everyone can tell stories about growing up having a Momo steering wheel or, or a Momo accessory in their car. And, um, you know, it's great for us to be part of bringing Momo back to racing, which is, uh, we started last year at the 24th Daytona, and we ran in uh, American Le Mans series as well, uh, won Petit Le Mans, and um, you know, we just want to keep, keep building on that, bring, bring the name back to, to its glory days, and uh, I think we have a good shot today, we qualified third, and we think we have a very strong lineup, so we're going to go for the win. So, that's your Momo moment at Godwin's Garage. Thank you, Matt, thank you, Enrique, and we'll see you at the track. <laughs>